Uh, the 28th African Cup of Nations Football Championship is underway in Gabon and Equatorial Guinea. Millions are tuned in to the competition on radio and television, but as Paul Sisko reports, some are questioning the relevance and expense of the event. The 2010 FIFA World Cup will be organized in yeah. South Africa. The rush of joy and African unity reached new heights with the announcement of Africa's hosting of the 2010 World Cup. As the games approached and began, sports fans could talk of little else. I'm super excited. It's a chance for us South Africans to show that, I mean, we are connected, we are a family, we can make things happen, and we are the, we are the rainbow nation that we always say we are. It was an exhilarating time of great drama and great pride around the world, especially for Africans. Who looks for Iniesta, who's onside! Those in Spain had nothing to complain about either. Spain score! Despite doubts, Africa pulled it off. A spectacular World Cup with few hiccups, if any. Early on, not everyone thought they could do it. And they can be proud. They can be proud. Because Africa has proven that really they can organize this World Cup and they can be proud. Sport has a way of lifting spirits and claiming the national attention like nothing else. There is little time for political dispute or conflict when you're having your face painted, blaring your vuvuzelas, or waving your team colors. So too the case with this year's All Africa Cup of Nations tournament. After preliminary rounds, the field narrowed to 16 teams battling their way in host countries Gabon and Equatorial Guinea to the Nations Cup Championship February 12th. Gabon invested half a billion dollars in pre-tournament preparations. Smaller and poorer Equatorial Guinea reportedly spent $75 million on stadium construction and millions more improving the nation's roads. If past history is a guide, the organizers of mega sporting events like this Cup of Nations have underestimated their costs and are vastly overestimating the long-term economic benefits. Putting on the 2004 Olympic Games in Athens was estimated at a billion five hundred thousand dollars. Final costs were ten times that. Beijing's spectacular national stadium, the Bird's Nest, began falling into disrepair for lack of use just months after the end of the 2008 Summer Olympic Games. South Africa built several beautiful stadiums across the country for the 2010 World Cup. Construction and other jobs were evident during the event, but long-term benefits for the disadvantaged were not. And in Equatorial Guinea, the vast majority of citizens cannot even consider buying a ticket to watch their team compete. But with just days to go before Sunday's final match, few are questioning the costly building of infrastructure. For now, it's all about football and who will be Africa's 2012 Cup of Nations champion. Paul Cisco, VOA News. Well, the 2012 Cup of Nations championship is on Sunday in Libreville between Zambia and Ivory Coast featuring Ivory Coast star Didier Drogba.